Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build. This is the show where I build and review some of your favorite construction brick sets. And this week, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies comes out in theaters. And I cannot let a movie come out in theaters without doing a Lego uh, review of one of the sets from the movie. And this is The Witch King Battle. It's set number 79015 and it has 101 pieces. And the minifigures that come with it are Elrond, the Witch King, and Galadriel. Uh, this is the only set that I have so far for The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. I did get the Lonely Mountain set with uh, Smaug in it, but I took it back because it's $130. That's a lot of money. So instead, I resorted to getting one of the cheaper sets. So let's go ahead and get into this build and review. <laughs> Alright guys, here is the finished set, so we'll start off with the minifigures, and here we have Galadriel, and I'm not sure if there's ever been a Galadriel minifigure before, I'm sure there has, but I, I just haven't seen one, but she comes, it's cool, she comes with this little diamond piece, but it's supposed to be the, uh, the light of Elendil, if I remember correctly. And uh, this minifigure kind of reminds me of the one of um, Vitruvius, just because it's got the same... Uh, wedge piece instead of minifigure feet because she's supposed to be wearing her dress but uh, the cape is really similar to Vitruvius so where it's all sparkly on the on the outside and just a plain color on the inside and she's got the rubbery long elf hair and we got Elrond which a couple videos ago I did a, um, the Council of Elrond from Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring and He's still pretty similar with um, his head, his hair, and the uh, sword are all uh, the same as the other one, but he's got a different cape. It's an olive green color, and he's got on um, armor, elvish armor. And he's also got two faces, which I probably should have showed um, Galadriel. So he's got the smiling face, and he's got the serious stern face. And uh, here, I'll show you guys Galadriel's face, because her other face is kind of scary. She's got this regular one right here and she's also got this mean mad face with the white eyes which I guess maybe she uh, <laughs> has another freak out moment like she did in Fellowship of the Ring when she gets tempted by the ring. But anyway, that's Galadriel and Elrond and here we have the Witch King of Angmar and he's really cool. He's, um, he's all white because he's supposed to be kind of like um, a spirit, I guess. I, I haven't seen um, the Battle of the Five, Ar Five Armies yet, because as of this recording, it doesn't come out until tomorrow. But um, in the uh, an Unexpected Journey, The Hobbit, you get to see him for a brief moment when uh, Radagast goes to Dol Guldul. But uh, anyway, he's got a sword, and he's got uh, a crown. He's got this really cool kind of like decayed cape, so it's different from the others. And he's only got one face just because he's got this crown on that doesn't cover up the back of his head. All in all, a really cool minifigure, which as far as I know is exclusive to this little set. And I guess technically this set came with four minifigures because it does come with a skeleton. He's just in bits and pieces. But here's the little section, I guess it's of uh, Dol Guldur. Like I, like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know where it's supposed to take place. But yeah, so you got a catapult that's controlled right here with uh, these two little red pieces right here and you push down on the skeleton body. See there's skeleton body, there's the skull, and then the two legs, one right here and one back here. But it's just, I mean, it's just a little set. It's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. But, uh, I mean, it's still just a decent little set piece. And um, it's got a few play features, like you can put the Witch King up here and just kind of like, you know, move him back and forth. And then you got the catapult, obviously, right there. And that is the Witch King battle. All right, guys, that is it for this video. What did you think of this little set from The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies? 
And if you have seen this movie by the time you've seen this video, let me know what you thought about it. I'm probably going to go and see it, hopefully, uh, soon after it comes out. But uh, I guess the question of the day would be, what do you think of the Hobbit movies? Do you feel like they should have been split into three movies instead of two? Or do you think that they should have just stuck with the same formula like they did with The Lord of the Rings and just made one movie per book? Uh, just let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel where I will continue to be building and reviewing some of your favorite construction brick sets. I will see you in the next video, and as always, keep on building.